I'm Bernie Leaving, Congregational Care Pastor here at Palmasia United Methodist. Welcome to our prayer cast for this last week in July. I ask you to please forgive my self-indulgence this week. Perhaps some of my reflections will, will speak a word to your life, though, too. Yesterday was my birthday. 77 years ago yesterday, my mother birthed me at home in that little house up on the side of the hill in St. Albans, West Virginia. Thanks to a friend's email, I learned that the number one hit parade song of the day I was born was Artie Shaw's Begin the Begin. Most of you have probably never even heard of that song. Thanks to Google, I learned the big news of that day was that one of the three Pan American flying boats, that's what they were called, but they were really airplanes, this one called the Hawaiian Clipper, that provided passenger service in the Pacific was lost en route from Guam to Manila, the first such aviation accident. There were six passengers and nine crew on board. That's a pretty good percentage for the passengers. Yesterday, I remembered my parents and the great job they did raising me. I thanked God for my two sisters. Though being the only boy between two sisters, one eight years older and one eight years younger, was not always easy for me, <laughs> or dare I say, for them either. I recalled teachers, friends, and pastors of my youth. I remembered the night I accepted Jesus Christ as my Savior and Lord. I thought of God calling me into ministry while I was mowing hay and of my ignoring that call for three years until God got my attention again and I said yes. I rejoiced at how God has blessed my life. Almost 55 years of great marriage to Dorothy. Three wonderful loving children, each successful in their lives. And the two smartest grandchildren in the world. Hey, all grandparents get to say that. God has guided my 55 years of ministry, my beginnings in Ohio and West Virginia, over 27 as an Army chaplain, 19 at Hyde Park United Methodist, and now one here at Palmasia. However, the older I get, the more birthdays I celebrate, the more I comprehend that birthdays serve a greater function than looking back to that day of the beginning of life outside the womb and the celebration of God's gift of new life. Each day provides opportunity not only to look back, but to look forward, to receive renewed life, to celebrate the joy of God's gift of life every day. Every birthday is a chance to commit oneself to making changes in one's life, to get rid of unhealthy habits and to develop new positive ones. For me, it was an opportunity to thank God for my own health and energy level, the God-given passion for people, the opportunity for ministry here at Palmasia, and of course, I must say to thank God for my relationship with Cindy, for her love for me and for saying yes when last Thursday I asked her to marry me. Birthdays are a chance to say that no matter what happened yesterday, last week, last month, last year, whatever it brought into our lives, we get a refresher, a new chance to celebrate God's gift of life and to commit ourselves to making changes. And, and guess what? Guess what? That's also what every day that we awaken to provides for us. Let's pray. Thank you, God, for the gift of this day, for your presence with us, and for the beauty of life and love. Amen. God bless the rest of your week. Find a place to worship this Sunday. I'd be happy to see you at Palmasio United Methodist.